guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, this is Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show and we're actually in the Winnebago booth. And there's something brand new here, well, at least to me it's brand new, that I wanna share with you guys. It's a modular van. Hey everyone, a new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out, just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube, just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store, where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool Stranger Palooza gear. We've got Chris from Winnebago. I think you're the product manager yep. over at Winnebago. Um, is the Adventure Van the right name for this? So what we're standing in is really it's a collaboration between two great companies, mm -hmm. Winnebago and Adventure Wagon. Oh, okay. So Adventure Wagon, of course, is, has a big name in the overlanding van space. Uh, for their modular system that they yeah, created. This track system. The track system and yeah. then things like their, their mule bags. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, collaborated with them on this product. So you'll see elements of Adventure Wagon, elements of Winnebago, and then the whole product is assembled in, in Four City at the Winnebago factory and sold, and this is kind of a significant thing, mm -hmm. through our dealers licensed as an RV. Oh, okay. All right, so what that means is someone could get this van and they could use it for work, right? Absolutely. Because you can move everything around, take everything out, yeah. uh, lots of stuff you can the, you could put in here. The neat thing about this van when we talk about it as a work van is, mm -hmm. you know, traditionally when you talk, you know, working from the, the van, it's always about, you know, someone sitting there at their laptop or mm -hmm. they're taking pictures and editing them. Yeah. Okay, now let's blow this up. Maybe this is someone who's working as a carpenter. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're an electrician. Landscaper. Landscaper. Yeah. So, you can bring the trades in so working mm -hmm. from the van you know they can use this van during the week for you know those applications change out mm -hmm. they're going to the mountains on the weekend right yeah that's awesome and so because you could buy this as an rv does that allow you to extend out i think you can get you can actually get it like a second home yeah. loan kind of thing right so it's going to help you two ways mm -hmm. one is in the financing because as an RV, it can be treated as a second home, so that helps with that longer loan mm -hmm. financing. And the next thing is insurance. Mm -hmm. So when you go, you're you know you're insuring a Winnebago Adventure Wagon versus, well, it's just a Mercedes Sprinter. Yeah. I mean, it just yes, it happens to have you know sixty-seven thousand dollars worth of upfits inside. Right. <laughs> but what does that look like to the insurance company? Yeah, exactly. So if you if you buy the van yourself from a Mercedes dealership and do all this stuff, it's not necessarily gonna have that value, as if you buy it and it's a Winnebago. Correct. Yeah, awesome. So, so Chris, uh, walk us through what comes with this van and you know what's you guys' idea of putting this whole thing together? Okay, so we kinda went with some of the bare bones of what's gonna qualify this product as an RV. Mm -hmm. So, I get just starting from the front and working our way to the back. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start at the floor actually. This yes. is uh, what's called a smart floor system. So you see you've got the L tracks running down the length of the floor. Mm -hmm. And you see your uh, passenger seat here, which is included, uh, mounts right to those L tracks mm -hmm. with the uh, quick releases. Okay. So don't like the seat here? You can move it. We can move it over there. Yeah. And this is a seat belt capable seat, yep. obviously. Three yeah. point seat belts mm -hmm. uh, with the latch system and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, for so all seat. of this, everything in here is pull tested then, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, Smart Floor is, um, they only work with certified installers, so mm -hmm. you're not going to let anyone do this in the garage to install the system. Right. Uh, but we went through the, the their full certification process. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could get, other than a single seat, can you do a jump seat? You can order as many seats as you want. Okay. Um, you know, in the you know in the aftermarket you know, oh, okay. venture wagon and oh you know, potentially through us we haven't got that figured out yet yeah <laughs> yeah okay very cool so and then obviously you got the seat here so yep. so going rearward yep so going rearward um, we've got two small and two large uh, adventure wagons uh, mule bags mm -hmm. and then we build the, a, uh, a galley cabinet here so 
you know, relatively simple, good storage. I see you've got a pump there for water. So, yep. so uh, you do have, even though there's not inbuilt plumbing with this, you do you can have water in here, right? right. Yeah, and, and that gives you the huge advantage that come winter, mm -hmm. pull your uh, faucet out, which is this. This is yeah. removable. Yeah, dematic. magnetic, dematic. Yeah, magnetic, dematic. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you take that inside. Yeah. It's good you know, to go. It's not going to freeze go. over. Yeah. And you've got a little sink hanging off the side there. Yep. Yeah. One of the collapsible ones that I've seen. That's really nice. So, and the neat thing about this galley mm -hmm. is you see we've got the little shelf there that the sink mm -hmm. fits in and folds down. Yeah. We, we, it comes with the pilot holes. Oh, okay. You want to move that to the other side. You can flip it. Okay. Because everything being modular, yeah. The there isn't really a set floor plan. Yeah. We can unbolt this galley. We can move it over here yeah. uh, to the opposite side yeah. or just take it out. Yeah, so this whole cabinet. And then I'm guessing eventually we'll have some different cabinet choices honestly, when it comes to. Honestly, the sky's the limit yeah. as to what this can become. Yeah, yeah. I really like the soft bags before we go past that. I think that, um, you know, and I, I've seen more and more folks using it, but not only you could take these off and pack them if you want to move them around if you need to if you don't need this many take it out so um, I like to see the soft bags here and um, you know there's, there's that a debate about that versus actual cabinets right. but it works really well in this situation I think even other situations out there and the, you get rid of any potentials for rattles mm -hmm. when it's all a soft bag yeah and it doesn't hurt so bad. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt when you, when you bump when you, your head. Yeah, when you knock into it. So right here I see, um, this looks like a Dometic fridge freezer yep. that we have here. And this also can uh, can go into the L-Trax, right? That, that's correct. So mm -hmm. we designed in a mounting system for the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that well, Winnebago brought to the table with all of this, though, mm -hmm. is our engineering testing procedure mm -hmm. um, after we designed this. All of this we use mm -hmm. a, a four post a road simulator okay and in our testing you know of course engineering term short and everything but right. we beat the snot out of these things right uh, before we're sending them out to the public okay to make sure that they're tough and they can actually like fit the application right so carrying weight and everything in here this is going to be good it's solid and then easy to move out and i guess you could put multiple of them if you need more refrigeration space and if you want to yeah yeah okay very nice. Um, going this way, what do we have going on here? So this little low cabinet here is separate from the galley, so it can be removed or moved. It you know, has a cushion, so it's either a you know it can be a jump seat, a step uh, for getting into your bed, but it also houses, of course, a little portable cassette toilet yep. down there. Yep. So you're fully functioning in here. You need to use you know you need to use a toilet. You've got one. Yep. And we talked about the cooler. Yep. And then as we move back, so this is the bed here is really a, a two part collaboration as well. So the frame is Adventure Wagon's Moab bed. Mm -hmm. So this bed, if we look at the sides here, we can move the mounting rails up and down uh, the van on the L tracks. So if you don't like the bed height, it can be changed mm -hmm. and we can pull out panels here you know so we can make the bed narrower right. if you need to yeah or you know you, you take it to that that sale or whatever and mm -hmm. you know lola really wants that big piece of furniture <laughs> get rid of that bed slot <laughs> yep. and, you, and you can do it you know oh, on okay. the spot yeah to remove the panels yeah free up that space yeah this so is a really, really cool system so you can go this is probably your the biggest size you can go right like similar yes. to a king size yep back here yep for and you, you could just move it around however you want to right correct mm -hmm. and since you know it's uses the adventure wagon system if you wanted to order their monk beds or alternate beds mm -hmm. you could do that mm -hmm. you could even add you know another uh bed this size below it for two level sleep yeah yeah that's very cool so and then i notice you guys have oh you have window treatments on the back yep. door and and all the windows in yeah. here it's just these two windows right 
uh, these two, the sliding door oh, the sliding. and okay. the rear doors. Okay. So one of the things that we brought to the table, we being with a bag go, mm -hmm. came in the soft goods. Mm -hmm. So this is not a stock mattress that you'd get from any place else. Mm -hmm. you know, we've kind of matched uh, the, the Adventure Wagon orange, but it's actually a two levels of foam in here. Oh, okay. Uh, similar to what we use in what we call a wind sleep mattress. Okay. So it's a, another level in terms of bed comfort. Yeah. And then our window coverings, you can see there with the W's. Yeah, they're branded with Winnebago. They're, they're Winnebago branded. Yeah. Oh, they're magnetic? They, they're oh, magnetic, nice. so you can take them off mm -hmm. uh, if you want to. But the window covering itself, and I'll move around to the other side here. Is zippered. Oh, okay. So you can pull your windows down, mm -hmm. or your coverings down, tuck. And what we have learned is with this style of window covering, the materials we're using mm -hmm. is blackout. Okay. Uh, we can do a tremendous job of having that complete blackout, so you don't okay. see light inside the van leaking out or you know outside light coming. Yeah. In. So when you guys put this in, so with the ceiling here, for example, mm -hmm. is there insulation going in the ceiling, the walls? Yes. Okay. It's, it's um, multiple layers. Uh, we use, first there's a sound deadening mm -hmm. uh, supplied to the van, and then there's a layer of 3M Thinsulate, mm -hmm. and then the wall panels themselves have a metallic reflective layer mm -hmm. on the back side. Oh, okay, very nice. And I did notice there is a max fan in here, yep. over here. Uh, is there an option with an AC, or there's no AC option with this? We don't have an AC option. Okay, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm guessing it's still something you can you can do if you want if you want to get that done. Right. Yeah. So, you know, when you think about it philosophically, mm -hmm. for a DIY van, mm -hmm. this is a place you can launch from. Mm -hmm. And you've got you know the solid uh, build the solid you know what's what's behind here mm -hmm. you know it is a neat clean mm -hmm. well done build yeah yeah um, and it's done by professionals yeah that are absolutely yeah and you have a lot of options I think with ACs you have lots of options and other things that you want to put in here you know I mean we could figure it out this I yeah. think the sky is really the limit with that uh, so this is going to be out in 2023 right you guys correct sending them out now yep. Oh, okay. All right, so we should be able to see it out there. Do you know what the, you know, roughly, I don't expect to get exactly the price of these, but what should this, what should the price of something like this be? Your full, the full MSRP mm -hmm. is going to be in the 179 range. Okay. So, um, of course, yeah. you negotiate with your dealer right. for a street price. Right. right. Okay. We've got what I usually call a pizza oven here, but this is a shelf that you guys build into it up here for storage. Oh, lots of room. Yeah, there you go. You could throw coats and umbrellas and all that kind of equipment. I throw, you know, tripods and everything up here. So that's what I call go-to storage. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is this is awesome, Lola. Do you have any questions? No. Yeah. I, I like the gear garage down there on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you oh, have we a ton of space. We didn't talk about the. Yeah. Let's go around. Yeah. Let's go yeah. around actually to the back. So there you go. Power. <laughs> for whatever you may have. Go ahead. Yeah. We went with the the EcoFlow. Um, when we looked at the technology that they were bringing to the to the table, mm -hmm. it's a it's a base 48 volt system. Mm -hmm. You can even charge it from a level two charger, like where you take an EV. Right. So okay. you can get that really fast recharge on it when you want to. Okay. Um, then it, it holds uh, was it 3.6 kilowatt hours mm -hmm. of a power, and it can put out uh, 3.6 kilowatts through the its built-in inverter. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can power some serious stuff in here if you need to. Yeah. Yeah. And then we built the tray. So this is a more Winnebago content for the tray that secures down to the L-Track system. And again, this went through all of our testing that I've spoken about. So, okay. You know, we beat on it. We pulled it uh, to make sure that you know we're retaining uh, this weight here, the EcoFlow, which is up. Uh, it's the exact weight, so around 100 pounds. Oh, okay. So it's a pretty, you know, sizable piece. Obviously, they use yeah. wheels and such to move it around. Right. So, any other accessories that folks want from this? Can they get them from Adventure Van? Can they have them built? How does that really work? Well, you can have them built. Okay. Um, Adventure Wagon has uh, components on their website. 
mm-hmm. and I think Winnebago are still working on building out what oh, that okay. channel would look like. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a great idea. I think there's definitely folks out there that are going to appreciate this because they could take it down and use it for whatever they do and, you know, get out there and do that stuff. And then, like you said earlier, you know, when they're ready to go on their adventure, vacation, pack in here and go. Yeah, it's kind of a a new place um, in the world of RVs. Mm -hmm. uh, And a Kind of a new place, well, a little bit of a new place in adventure vans, mm-hmm. be- uh, just because we're bringing, you know, the, the complete package through. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the financing. Yeah. And the insurance. Yeah, and that makes it easy. I don't think folks realize until you get into this, even something like this. You know, once you buy that Sprinter van, and then you have to get these tracks put in, do the walls, do the ceiling. Yeah. You know, it's not. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's it really work is. and money. Right. Yeah. It, it is mm-hmm. both. Yeah. Um, but the fact that you're able to jump into it and even just in stock form Mm -hmm. add fuel and water Mm -hmm. go have fun yeah yeah i think it makes it it's really great for you for folks out there to build up from so hopefully we'll get to see these maybe we'll you know we'll get them in at uh at our the dealership that we deal with or somehow we'll you know get our hands on them through winnebago or something like that because this to me is really exciting especially for the folks out there who do a lot of overlanding yeah. the flexibility here is awesome and you can get this in a four by four right correct you okay can get either in the two-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive mm-hmm. 170 inch wheelbase yeah non-extended sprinter yeah in fact this one right here is four-wheel drive awesome Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Chris. Awesome. I really appreciate it. I don't know if we missed anything, but if people want to find out more about this or anything else from Winnebago, how do they do that? Winnebago.com. There you go. It's real easy. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I hope you're enjoying our content here from the Florida RV Super Show 2023 in Tampa. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. We're out.